Hello guys, hope you all are good. Welcome to another interesting video on our Be Aware channel. And today we are going to learn about parameters and performance measures. We have already created our video one on parameters and performance measure where we have discussed in detail what are parameters, what are performance measures and what is their significance and role in the simulation modeling. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go and watch that video. The link will also be given into the description. Uh, it is also available on our YouTube channel. So you can access this. This is our video two on parameters and performance measure. And we are going to dive deeper into the parameters today. So stay tuned with us till the end of the video so that you are cleared with what are the parameters what types of parameter functions we can be using in simulation modeling and what is the significance of each of those functions into the play. So if you haven't liked our videos, please do like our videos, do share the videos with your friends, colleagues, teachers, okay? And do not forget to subscribe to our channel, be aware, because we are going to bring in a lot of interesting educational stuff just for you and it really motivates us when we get comments from you likes from you and subscriptions from you you can also visit our website beourchannel.com where we have blogs for you where we have health awareness related stuff industrial engineering related stuff and premium simulation modeling training modules so do not forget to visit beourchannel.com so if you could look at, we have a source, we have a queue, we have a processor and we have the source in out. The parameter is basically used on the cycle time of the uh, uh, processor. Okay, so whatever uh, parameters are going to be used in here, those are supposed to get reflected in the process time of the processor. Now let us understand that what are the uses of these types of types which are available in the parameters so if you look at the continuous the continuous also works with the lower and the upper bound okay and this type is well suited for percentage based parameters like for example you may have a parameter rate that controls the percentage of the job that needs to be reworked are the percentage of the customers that fall within certain category that is where you can use in the basically the continuous uh, type of parameters now let me try this 8.5 let us say 8.5 and i am just resetting and if i run in see it is going to take 8.5 also as the input for the cycle time so this is the uh, uh, significance of the continuous thing in the previous video that is video one where we used basically the integer there you would have seen that it is not going to take any values apart from integer it is going to modify to the nearest value of it but continuous the name itself implies it's a continuous so any values in between you can just put in and it is going to take it the next type if you go in it is integer okay the integer also requires the lower uh, bound and the upper bound okay this type is well suited for values that can only be integers such as the number of workers in a model or the number of tools available so all those values so now if you look at when i changed this to integer i did not change the value it was 8.5 and it was directly converted to 9 okay so this is the significance of the uh, parameter now when i reset and run it is going to be 9 and i'll just show you i put in like 8.75 and it is going to show me an exception error where it is going to say that you need to use 9 instead of 8.75 because the type which we have selected is basically the integer okay so this is the significance of the integer type in the parameters now when we go into the discrete one okay so the discrete type requires the lower bound the upper bound and the step size okay now the value can be set to any value that is in n steps okay from the lower bound now where n is a non-negative integer 
the value cannot be greater than the upper bound so this is the step size okay so you might know what is the discrete type discrete is nothing but a, a process or a parameter when you have increments in a discrete steps okay so this is a step size if i put in 2 so it is going to take values in a multiple of 2 most probably if i enter 3 it is going to take in if i enter 4 it is going to take 5 did you got that because how it is like 1 plus 2 it's 3 3 plus 2 it's 5 so it is going to take 5 so based on your step size it is going to take the values ahead or middle so if you put a step size of 0 0.5 then I guess if you put in the value of 1.5, it will take 1.5, okay? So it all depends on the step size which you need to use. Now this type is well suited for the values that increment in steps other than 1 or that begin incrementing from a non-integer value. So this is a very great advantage of discrete type which you can use in parameters. Now we will understand about binary, okay? If you have any queries till now, you can just post in the comment section in our YouTube channel in this video. If you have liked this video till now, please do share it with your friends also. So the binary type does not require any additional information, okay? It is only possible values are 0 or 1. Now this type is well suited for values that are on or off or true or false type of basis okay so where you need to for example you could use this type of parameter to turn areas of your model on or off okay this is where this binary goes so you can place only two values that is zero and one you cannot put any values like three five it is just like true and false on and off on and off so this is the uh, binary type which is being used okay so you can only use 0 and 1 as a value in this parameter okay now when we go to the options okay now the option type allows you to specify one or more expressions as possible values for this parameters now you can then set the value to an integer between 1 and the number of options you specify so if you look i have already entered option two three four five okay these are my uh, options so i need to enter the values in these five options only okay so this is basically usually the value of this okay options is very important in certain uh, areas like for example you may use this option to choose between two floor layouts okay the first layout isn't less than the second layout they are simply different options correct so you can select different options by using this parameter so i have option one layout i have option two layout option three layout or you have three types of say what do we say uh cycle types okay so that can also be used so if you look at i am selecting option three option 3 is set with the cycle time of 3 so it has to be 3 in here okay so i want to go ahead with say option 5 so i'll just reset and i will select my option 5 in here so if you look at currently we should be able to so this is 5 i'm selecting so you need to double click here and then you will come here i'll select 5 and whatever a uh, uh, value you have assigned to option 5 okay that is supposed to be taken care into the parameter so that will be the value fetched in and will be sent it to the assigned item okay so this is the great one okay because you can basically have a set of options with you and you can try those options and find out the best options into the parameters so now let us check for the another type of parameter which is sequence okay now the sequence type requires a sequence length okay this is the sequence length you see and which should be greater than zero okay and the value can only be set to an array of numbers now whenever you need to use the arrays okay so that is where you need to use this sequence type okay 
so basically the sequence length is the number of arrays you are going to have how long the array is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you want to have an array with 20 length so you just need to enter 20 in the sequence length and you are going to have this array now wherever you want to use this like wherever you are going to use this type so this type is well suited to ordering a sequence of jobs okay production type production schedules this type of value is designed for use with the optimizer okay where you may be interested in the optimal sequence of jobs to avoid change over time so this is basically you can use it for optimizer optimizing the sequences where you will have minimum change over for the production schedule so that is our uh, sequence uh, schedule now let us understand about the expression okay so the expression type can be set to any valid flex, uh, flex script expression this type is well suited for distribution uh, such as customer arrival rate or processing times okay you can just put in whatever you want and then you can have that most probably been uh, used in there okay so i'll just reset and i'll just run and you will have uh, most probably uh, need to look at the type of expression you are supposed to put in okay so this is how the expression is going to work on uh, then we are going to go to pass through so pass through okay the parameter allows any node in the model to become parameter when you set the value of this type of parameter okay uh, it sets the value of the specified node okay this is basically the pass through now this pass through and expression parameters are ignored by the optimizer okay these are not required in optimizer from sequence till continuous you are supposed to use this in optimizer expression and pass through are basically bypassed or ignored in optimizer so so the most important parameter or the most important use of this parameter performance measures is that it is used and the optimizer and the experimenter tool or capability which we have in flexin okay so that is where this uh, pass through and expressions are not used so the most important type of parameters you need to learn about is continuous till sequence okay so that is where it is very important for you to learn it. so this is all about parameter type which we learned in this today's video let us know how this video was for you did you get the issues solved did you uh, learned about the types of the parameters if you have any queries do let us know you can contact us from our contact us page on behavioralchannel.com or you can put your comment in our youtube video so that's all for today let us meet in another interesting video on our behavior channel so till then stay safe stay simulating